What's up guys, it's Chase from Texas Workshop and in this video we're going to build the disc for our opto interrupter switch counter. Um, I've been to Lowe's and a few different places and tried to find um, something that I could buy that I could use to cut this out with. And some of the things I thought of was um, the top to a five gallon bucket or even the bottom of the five gallon bucket, take it to where you can cut it out, um, a, a type of maybe opaque plastic. But what I've come across in my garage was one of these old toolboxes and um, I figured this plastic's thick enough and it's opaque and it's I think it's gonna work great so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my circle cutter outside I'm gonna cut a disc out of this and then I'm gonna take circle cutter and cut another small pulley like the one on here and use that pulley as the as the hub for this disc if that makes any sense if not stick around you'll get to see what I'm talking about Guys, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you like the video, give me a like. And if you like it, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, so here we go. Here's what I got. I'm, I've just put, put this about kind of where I think it might, it's going to work out good. But anyways, I'm going to use this to cut out the actual disc for the thing here. This thing opened up. And there, no, where's my key at? Aha. All right. That. So I'm going to try to get this thing, try to, let's hope this thing don't, it don't tear it all up once I start cutting it. But anyways, here we go. this thing <laughs> so I was wondering I was like dang why don't this thing go down now we turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Thought there'd be some kind of disaster along the way, but we're good. Now I've got a hole in my toolbox. That'll work out really well. Now let's cut a hub for this guy. I'm just gonna make this circle cutter as small as I can. Plenty of room to for the counter to mount. All right, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try a piece of plywood. You can go without being about being said to be very careful. You something like that so now that'll mount to our disc I guess I'll epoxy that together I'm gonna clean this thing up a little bit though that looks absolutely horrible all right let's do that let's clean it up I always forget which way this spins especially when the chucks up okay there we go Especially when the chuck's up inside there, I can't see it. Okay. I'm gonna speed this thing up a little bit. I'm gonna change the belts out. Now this can also be, without saying, is to be very careful when you're doing this. I wouldn't wear any gloves or anything like that when you're using a drill press as a um, lathe. So here we go. 
about this plywood that I'm concerns me is is, um, is it's not very consistent maybe for the the weight basically but we're gonna go with it anyways now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece here and I'm going to epoxy it to that like so so we'll kind of have a, a disc with a hub on there okay so here's what I've got here's the actual everything in here together I'm gonna pull this side here and try to get this switch this thing mounted in here if I can let's see what it looks like I think I'm gonna put this that way okay, it's a lot tighter than I thought it was gonna be all right let's just pull it apart Oh my god. Destroying everything. Okay, there's the right. Man, it's going to go in further than that. Maybe there. Put it all back together again. Like I said, I should have made this box a little bit bigger. <clears throat> I think it would have made life a lot easier. But it's too late. I don't know if I've told you that yet or not, but if you're building one like this, with these parts, make it a little bit bigger than I did. It's got a little wobble, but I think once I get, I think, I think once I get all that done. I also reworked these pulleys a little bit too. So I kept having trouble with them slipping off. And so I put them back in my uh, drill press. I'm basically done what I just did with this, or with this, and cut more of a V groove in there than just a shallow uh, circle. So let's plug this thing up and see what it does here. See how wobbly it is. I've got everything hooked up to it. I've got all the parts wired in like they're supposed to be, you know, with this and all that good stuff. So let's cut it on and see what it's already on. Let's turn, turn this on here. Not too bad. I think once I get that flush with that uh, mount, I think it'll be, it won't have any wobble to it. So let's cut it back off. All right. Okay. Now, let's tear it apart again. I'm gonna use this right here to glue all this stuff together. It's on there pretty straight. I think, so that little burr right there, I need to get that off of there. I think that's what's keeping it from mounting flush up against that. So I'm gonna go knock that off right quick. Get some clamps to where I can clamp it on there too. I just got some Loctite uh, epoxy here. I bought this from Lowe's. I was gonna buy some the other day, but it was about 15 bucks for a thing of it, so here I am struggling to do, use this old stuff. But it still works, so I can't complain, I don't guess. Man, that stuff stinks. Yeah. Let's mix them up good. 
Now what I don't want to do is, is glue this thing to the shaft. Man. So I'm going to put the glue out here close to the edge a little bit. Okay, now let me get this out of here because if I don't, I'll have it all over me here in about two seconds. Okay, now I'm just going to clamp her. Put a couple clamps on it. And it's not working worth a darn. Don't use spring clamps on that. Use these, I guess. I don't think I have to get it way too tight, just as long as it brings it together. And I'm going to check it and make sure. Dang gum it. Okay. If I can check it without it falling apart again. Looks pretty good. Alright, we're going to let that dry about 20 30 minutes or so and see how it does. All right, so that thing dried all night. I ended up letting it just sit all night and dry. And now we're to this point. Now I do have a little wobble in the disc, but I think it'll be all right. I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal, I hope. Now what I gotta do is, is I've got to uh, tear this thing back apart again, and then I'm going to cut a little groove in this disc that our sensor here can read. So that's what we're going to do next. All right, so here's our sensor. Here's our disc. And this thing's just going to sit right on top of there like that. So I need to cut a groove about the depth of this guy here, or the width of this. About a quarter inch. So I hadn't really, I think I'm going to just take like a, a file maybe, like this, and just cut a groove in it. I'm hoping that might work. Um, I figure you could probably use a, a saw too or something if you want to. I just don't want to take a lot of weight off of this. I want to take it off as little as possible. So a lot of them that make these, they put a, a cut on the opposite side of each other to help with weight. But I want to see if, it, if we really need to do that or not. Well, there's the there's a little cut. So let's see what that looks like. All right, let's put it back in there and see how it does. Put all this crap back together again. As you can see, this is going to be exciting trying to get all this stuff in here that's what I was saying like I said if you if you plan on building one like this make the box just a little bit bigger yeah all right let's cut it on and run it and see what it does
I think it's working good. I think that's gonna work. Now what uh <clears throat> what I'm gonna try to do next, and I probably won't do it in the rest of this video, but just try to get all this stuff in here. I do have to make some kind of mount for this thing. I don't know if I just want to mount it here and just let it ride right there. And but I've got to get everything else stationary. I've got to get some um, shaft collars for this, for these, to where I can hold this thing together. And then I'm probably going to epoxy um, some pieces down here at the bottom or something to kind of hold the structure of the box together. So this isn't doing this, so I can get it aligned right. But that's going to be the next video. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, about what I've done here, just let me know. I'll be glad to do whatever I, whatever I can to help you. Um, the only things I would change right now on this is, like I said, I would make the box bigger. If you're using this motor, since it's a little bit bigger and I'm having to use the pulleys and everything, um, I would go with a little bit, probably a little bit wider box, which would mean a little bit uh, longer shaft. And then you could even do a little deeper where you have more room. So the only thing I can think is, is to mount this thing on one of these side walls here. And then uh, this is basically going to be the front. So, of course, the switch and um, the knob and the displays are going to be up here on top. But uh, hopefully all of it will go together good. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments about it, just leave them below. If you like the video, give me a like. If you like it, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.